Hey, today we're going to be looking at um, build configuration. So in the previous video we were uh, playing with um, different compiler options and uh, debugging settings to see if we could get a pro we got a program say from a, a meg in size down to about let's say 39k and all by just you know playing with the different or turning off different debugging options etc and so uh, today we can make that job a lot easier by using what we call um, build configurations and in this particular uh, video we're going to be looking at how we can set them up and so on in case you're wondering the uh, the program where I store all my notes is called Notable uh, so you know I'm building up a little collection again of all of the videos I'm doing so it's not just for uh, my benefit but you know I'm thinking of putting all this onto a website one day um, not yet but so what is a build configuration so we're going to go into uh, into here and into our project options again and into here and I might have some already set up so we'll get rid of these and get rid of that one and we'll just make it as though we're coming in fresh so under the um, compiler options here we have a build mode and it is currently set to default and to the right of that is a little you know speed button here where we can uh, manage our build modes so you could have a different modes for say debug versus release so in your debug versions you would have all of your checking functions turned on for instance you might have uh, no optimizations you know so you've got something which you know is safe for you to play with and uh, for testing purposes contrast that with maybe a release version and your release version would have all the checks turned off because you've done all your testing and you're pretty confident and your program is very small you know and fast to for an end user um, in, in order to when we go into this um, dialogue here to you know manage our build modes you can see up the top there is an option here to create debug and release modes and you can rename and there's also plus on the minus you can add um, add a mode or configuration and you can also see what the difference differences are between a couple you know yeah, between your um, the selected mode and the other ones you've got set up so let's click on the button to create a release and a debug mode and automatically now you can see now in addition to the default now we've got a debug and a release mode now we could add in say a um, I'm just going to cause one here because I'm um, unimaginative we're going to just create a custom build here and we can then click on the OK button and <clears throat> whatever the one that is um, active or, or current in the selected in the uh, build mode becomes the one that is the selected option up here so if you want to now look at the differences now between these let's click on the debug one and we'll go down to the compilation settings you can see that the quick um, debugger friendly optimization level is set um, it does say make it smaller rather than faster and when we come into the checks and assertions etc you'll find that many of these are turned on if we were to contrast that with say the release mode um, then and we go into here you can see that it is set to 03 which is 02 plus some slow optimizations and when we go into debugging here all of these are turned off and the other one they were turned on so if we were to go into sorry into these um, custom options here um, and this would make more sense say so we're going to go into and select a custom build here and we can let's say look at some defines here so what we might define put something in here I'm going to call this one here um, debug and we can add that one in 
we can turn that one on now and hit the OK button and you can see now we've got a debug define right now it really won't do much at all because I don't have any code around that um, and we're going to click the OK button here and just to show you what the effect is now if we were to switch between say the release version and the custom version you can see it's not there uh, and it is not there either when we look at the release version so it's something that we could turn on or off only within a custom version again to show you what the um, effects are between these uh, different types of builds if we were to select the debug build then and we just go and build the program and nothing else and we haven't changed any other settings really except for the compiler and debug and now if we were to do an that was our that was or is our debug program and now if we were to contrast that with um, by just changing our build mode to release here and hitting the OK button and then building we can see then that we have a, a an improvement in relation to the size of the program and performance and so on you can look at the last video if you want to see them running now one of the other things that you could do say in the uh, release versus debug is that you could actually change the output path for the uh, program that you're working with so let us see if we can change all of that so the target name will be okay the configure target okay <clears throat> we got a unit output directory so let's change that to um, we're gonna go into let's do the debug one first so we can now make this one here uh, make it that one there and we so I'm adding the word debug onto the front of that one and this one here uh, D -D -U -G, and we'll change that one to debug slash primes and that's all we're going to change on to that one we're going to hit the OK button here and now when we want to build that and we're going to see what we've got here now I now have a debug folder in the um, under my code here and let's see then let's do the we're going to get rid of primes as the executable because we don't want that one anymore but if we look in the uh, debug folder it now has the a debug version of primes and also the lib files are underneath or the compiled programs are underneath that lib folder under the debug folder so if we want to now have a different path for our uh, release build we can go into here click on that one click on release and we can now set make this one here uh, release and this one here um, release as well put that onto the front and hit the OK button and we will now build it again and now you can see that we have both a debug folder and a release folder and in the release folder then um, you can see that we have the smaller version of the program compared to the larger one ultimately what you could do for instance you could have I mean I could have my source code in a source folder and do something like dot dot slash you know etc so we're getting closer to building up a, a a programming environment that we can use within Lazarus you know to 
easily uh, write our software and have different folders for our um, outputs, whether they're a DLL, a shared library, or an executable. So now what we're going to do is to see what the, um, we're going to look at now the effect of say, uh, using assertions here. Well actually not assertions, first, first of all what we'll look at is some debugging code. So if you remember in the, um, let's go back under here and in the custom version we added in, if we go down into here, uh, sorry, I've got to go a bit lower. In here, we've added in this debugging um, define here. So I could do something here like um, if def debug. Um, let's put into here right line. Nothing very original, but you know, it will demonstrate the purpose of the um, code. Now I'm going to, what have I got here? Yep, I'm not doing that one yet. So basically here, uh, we what we're going to do is to, uh, let's just go back into our options here, into here, and we are looking at a custom build and the output will go into this. In this case here, the output will be in the same folder as the source code itself. You can also see here, because I am in the custom uh, build, that this code here appears as part of the program. If we were to go into the options here and change it to say uh, debug and hit OK there, even though I have selected debug, release will be the same. You can see that that code is um, not, it's grayed out like it's disabled, so it's not part of the program, it never will be part of the program. So we're changing it back to custom again, hit OK. Uh, there we want to build it, so we've got that line back in again. And we will now just do and just see our, what's in our folder. And if you run primes, it will tell us that the uh, debug is defined. And that is really, you know, about it for, and let's say that particular um, the use of the conditional defines and having code in or out in a particular uh, mode or a build configuration there. Now, what? As, now, as far as these assertions are concerned, when it comes to um, testing our code or writing code, even the question becomes: Well, what would happen if I passed in a negative value into the program? Um, now here I might say uh, sieve um, n um, should be greater than greater than zero. <coughs> now the idea. Um, behind an assertion is that um, you could call it a, one way of looking at it is a precondition um, and you have a, a condition which should be true and if that bat does not evaluate to true then the program will halt and the message here will then be output and just what halts so <coughs> now in order for us to let's say see the effect of that I'm going to have to put this line of code into the program and we will now go into uh, 
project options. We'll need to change our particular build here, or I'm going to. Under debugging here, you can see that assertion code is turned on here. So that means then that this function here will be, uh, let's say, included in the output. In um, future videos also, we will uh, go through some of the other options as well. So this is a debug build and we modified our debug build last time to go into its own folder. So now when we try to run the uh, debug version, we now uh, can see that this message here was output here and like I said, and the program halted. And obviously because the program halted, you never saw any of that. The, uh, calculating the uh, number of primes between, you know, let's say one and 100, 1000, etc. Because the program just halted. If you were to run the same program, um, and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to use the uh, debug mode, but we're going to turn off the assertion code. Now currently the program is, you know, let's say 459, 320, almost 460k. We're going to now build it again. Um, oh, maybe I... Uh, hmm. Anyway, we're going to run it again. And this time, you know, rather than the assertion, um, you know, trapping the error in, let's say, a nicer way. You... So you're going to say, well, how do I get around this sort of error here if I'm using assertions? Well, what we'd need to do is to do something like, you know, say here, if n is uh, greater or um, equal to zero, then we'll do that part. So here we've got the assertion and what we're going to do now is to go here and into here. We'll include our assertion code here um, and now we can build our program again. Let's see how big it is this time here, Slight, ever so slightly larger. Uh, but now if we were to run it now, you can see here that the program will um, generate answers for numbers between, you know, 1 and 10, 1 and 100, 1 and 1000 and so on. And also then, uh, so the assertion code is included and now if we were to take out the assertion as well, you can, you know what's going to happen really. Um, but for the sake of um, completeness, we'll now run that, build that one here and run it and you get the same result there. So, what am I really pointing to here is to have, let's say, safe and green code when you want to, um, in different builds, is to, one is to, using assertions to easily check for conditions that you expect, and then if they were to crash well, you can work out what code needs to be shoved in so that it doesn't you know, um, so that it does not um, fail. And one way of doing that is by putting the check into the calling function rather than having the function that is called do all the checks on your behalf. Um, so that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you were able to get something out of it. Uh, Maybe you can apply some of these ideas into your own software. And until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then. Bye.